celebrity style inspiration. Hi, CSIers. Welcome back to your favorite Thursday date night here on the Manila Times CSI. Celebrity Style Inspiration. Ako po si Tessa Mauricio Ariola, and you're watching our fourth and biggest season ever where we've lined up exclusive T-Zone interviews with your favorite artistas and personalities week after week after week. So let's get started right now. From last Thursday's fabulous episode with Her Highness Queen Manila Luzon, we're not letting up on bringing you queens on the Manila Times CSI. In fact, tonight's Queen in Focus figures prominently among an elite set of Filipino women that have not just shown the world the Filipinas' distinct beauty, but every wonderful and admirable quality in between, snagging no less than an international title and crown along the way. Our guest tonight holds the distinction of winning the Philippines the sixth Miss International Crown in 2016. These days, however, much as we will always regard her as a queen, in terms of legacy, she would rather be considered an actress first and is working as hard as she can towards it. Today, she is winning the movie industry just as fiercely as she did Miss International with her determination to learn, to work tirelessly, and to take risks. With such an enormous passion for the art, she may just be on her way to be crowned the newest queen of acting too. We're so excited to introduce to you the actress, Kylie Versosa. Hi, Kylie. Hi. Wow, Miss Tessa, that was such a very generous introduction. Thank you so much. Thank you very much because if there's one thing that has, you know, stood out in all of, you know, this past couple you know two years that we've been in the pandemic where you really really have thrived in showbiz you know i, I really feel it when you say that you want to be regarded as an as an actress first talagang you know your passion even through zoom kasi zoom lang pwede ngayon you know <laughs> i really personally have felt it and i know i had to say it and and you know but i i know that in this interview everybody's gonna feel it too but before that you know just to sort of um break the ice lang po we uh you know we have this little tradition um at the manila time csi that we call um lip it's our icebreaker and it stands for last instagram post so medyo nag-stock kami sayo uh <laughs> naman sa instagram because we just want to know how you're doing right now you know your frame of mind maybe your mood what you're busy with and the team will put it up on the screen Shempre, very ano, beautiful, well, <laughs> beautiful naman lagi, queen na queen. Please tell us where this was taken, what you were doing, you know, and how, what do you have to think para maka, magka-look na ganyan to try, to, <laughs> try namin. So, this, so these were actually BTS shots, behind the scenes shots taken on set. So, <laughs> I mean, I really like, so if you swipe, medyo carousel po siya. It's, I'm in character dito as Alice. And since, ayun, five more days na nga, or four more days na yung movie, I wanted to do a post na focuses on on Alice more, on set. So, yeah, I decided to post these pictures. Wala yeah. lang. We found the way back here to Manila. Tapos sabi ko, what can I post today? You know, not really thinking much. Tapos just, Rumble through my photos and just you know found and something it, to post. But I know it's beautiful. It's like you know the sexiness, the innocence, the you know, parang everything all in the one picture. Um, um, of course you're an expert in doing those things, having come from from you know beauty pageantry. Pero alam ko iba iba rin naman yung skill na kinakailangan naman din to be a very very good actress and you know you're so determined and that's why you know I really really admire you for that and I'm so happy that you can be um, here and to inspire us uh, sa mga nanonood ng Manila Times CSI so I said it nga in, in the introduction na you know you you often say na you know you'd like to be called as an actress first how do you go from because you know, winning an international title, we, we see your journey also, eh. Yung determination, the blood, sweat, and tears together, the kind of passion that you have there. Pero, you went from that passion to this passion that seems double or triple the intensity. Um, 
to wanting to be an actress. Pa, paano nangyari yon, Kylie? If you can tell us. Well, I guess you know, being a beauty queen, because I, I, you know, I really wanted to achieve the the top or the best crown I could, and that was Miss International. So after achieving that, parang what's next? What's next for me? Yes, I'm a beauty queen, but also I wanted to find something that I was also really passionate about, and you know, acting was parang a secret dream of mine. And I was always told when I was younger na masyado ko matangkad for TV, masyado kong masyado kong matangkad. So okay, so that dream parang got got you know pushed lower and lower and lower. Pero ma- walang and leading man for somebody so tall. Yes, yun yung mga sinasabi sa akin. Walang walang <laughs> mabuti sa iyo, wala kayong leading man. <laughs> yeah, because anyway, I'm quite tall for a Filipina. <laughs> yes, but yes. But sure. when I went abroad to model, medyo I was on the shorter side, mm-hmm. but for a Filipina, I'm quite tall. And yun, I got into acting. I was grateful na binibigyan ako ng mga opportunities after Miss International. Shapra, at the beginning, I started to doubt myself first. Kaya ko ba to? But you know, people believed in me. So na, Derek Ruel, Viva. So they gave me a shot, and I fell in love with it. I little by little, because I I didn't start out acting. Sobrang galing ko na. You know, I still fumbled. I had my mistakes. I had my failures. Pero it made me want to. You know, do even better and strive even harder. Parang na resemble ko siya from a beauty queen. I wasn't magaling naman ng una, pero you worked for it. I worked for it. Pinagaralan ko talaga siya, and yun until I started to really love acting, the whole mm-hmm. experience yeah. thing, and being in other people's shoes without you know having to actually experience it, and it was. An avenue for me to release my emotions, to find, play different characters. Na sobrang yeah, I really, I really, I really. The like characters it. are really. ibang iba. I have to say, because you know, I mean, common. It's parang expected naman that that uh, whether you win a national uh, title or you win the bigger one internationally, lahat naman talaga ino offer yan ng showbiz kasi syempre de ba we'd be it's an honor to have you uh, in our production in our movie in our TV show and all that um, but usually because nga you know you have that image of a beauty queen you know you're given token roles de ba hindi naman out of the because we don't think you can do it but you're given token roles out of respect kasi we think you know kailangan queenly pa rin siya sa role. When you mean token you roles, are these like yung mga, actually my stereotype na pagpasok mo sa showbiz and you're a beauty queen, you're usually given, you know, the contrabida roles, the, yung, contrabida. yung maganda, yung maganda, maganda, yung kinaingitan ng bida, ganun yeah. yung mga roles Uh-oh. pinipigay yeah. sa amin and sa akin. And sabi ko, bakit na rin ganito? Feeling ko, These aren't the roles I want to be playing for the rest of my life, and these aren't the roles na I I know I can do better than this. Yeah. So sabi ko pagpasok ko, I wanna also break the stereotype na na beauty queens aren't meant for those roles. Pero kaya 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 ko naman din umarte. So I wanted to venture into playing different roles, different genres, until nahanap ko yung until mahanap ko yung gusto ko so in. You were conscious of that. Na parang did you actually get an offer na medyo either whether contrabida or yung yung bida ka nga pero laging dapat maayos ang buhok, hindi na sa sa. I was always na, yes. Yeah, you told yourself not to. Uh, yeah, ang galing. Always, kasi, always, all, all, always. Parang yun yung mga role na in offer sa akin. And alam mo yon the intimidating one the. The pampaselo sa bida, yeah. ganyan. And, sabi ko, And you really yeah. decided, no, I don't, this isn't... I was I was very conscious of the decision also. Siyempre, in the beginning, I was excited to play it. But yeah. you also have to diversify yourself and diversify the roles that you play. Also, you know, you can get typecasted here in the industry so quick. And it really matters what roles you accept, especially... When you're still trying to establish yourself and, as an and, actor, yes. And when you went to doing, you know, full features, full movies, 
the roles that you accepted naman are the risky ones talaga. Risky, risque, or whatever, you know, people would like to call them. That's why sabi nga nila, uh, you know, they can't help but compare you to Gloria Diaz, who wow, oh is today, diba? parang she, you know, she, she went from Miss Universe and then she really, really went into a very, very sexy movie. But today she is um, considered Diba? An, an icon um, in yes. the movie industry. Um, did you have to think twice though or think hard about it? Because you know on the one hand, a lot of um, women look up to you uh, as their beauty queen. Parang, you know, you serve as, you know, young Filipinas, role model, the, you know, my heart, a good heart, hindi lang maganda inside, pero outside, you know, yung nga, minsan, yung parang dapat mahinhin, or hindi, did you have to think na, oh, I'm Miss International, not just binibining Filipinas International, pero Miss International pa, did you think na you had to be a certain image pa rin sa pelikula? No, not at all, because entering so entering becoming an actress you have to leave all that behind so i can't bring kylie as miss international into a role that requires me not to be or become my barest self so hindi mo madadala yung pagka yung 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 persona mo as a beauty queen into the roles you play dahil maging one dimensional na lang yung character so yes, as Kylie, I'm conscious, but as an actress, you have to play certain roles, which requires you to remove that persona. So, so Alice, in that persona, I mean, I know you're so willing to because you want to be the best actress you can be. Pero magali ba siyang Alice? And mahirap ba if people think na queen yan eh? Uh, in the beginning, yes. <laughs> yeah. In the beginning, yes, but. Little by little, especially with Housemaid, I wanted to accept, you know, the harder roles, the darker roles. Because I'm mahilig din ako, mahilig din ako manood ng mga thriller, more on the psychological side, something different, something offbeat, something not your typical rom-com, but you know, something that. I'm a mental health advocate, so something that, you know, something that Being challenges in, you. Yeah, the mind, no? Yeah, That's something true. that challenges you. So, parang, I've done comedy, I've done rom-com, pero I really crave for that mm. heaviness mm-hmm. and that mm-hmm. drama. I really parang, crave for who that. Who is she, ba? Yung parang your people, when they watch you, they're trying to figure out, sin bang tong character na to, what's going on in her mind, and so on and so forth. And you know you've been very very fortunate also that no nagpa sexy ka um you know it ang mga leading men mo kasi are like you know the best you know you had I think in the housemaid it was Albert am I right Albert Martinez yes. Albert Martinez so not you know hindi naman namin masasabi ay nagpa sexy lang si Kylie in, in whatever diba parang you were really given the best lead actors uh in this risk that you took um how do you feel about that? And um, how did you feel na veteranong-veterano ang binigay sa akin in this risk that I'm taking? I feel really grateful na nabigay sa akin yung supporting cast na yon. And for my first big project, I really couldn't have asked for a for a better cast and when the bosses of Viva told me that they were cast members, I said, oh my god, talaga ba? will they even accept the project with me in it? Are they really sure? You know, so, so it, to be honest, it really pressured me a bit, but it, you know, forced me to even do better in the role. Because I know that I can be able to do better Miss Jacqueline Jose, Sina Kuya oh. Albert Martinez. So, I have to step up my game. So it was And you did and you didn't disappoint. Oh, I mean um ang question ko lang, you know, the pandemic yata parang 
I can't even count ilan na movies na, na ginawa mo siguro. You're one of the, you deserve it. And you're one of the most prolific actresses uh, during this, um, you know, challenging time for us. Pero, syempre, if you want to be an actress also, um, and, and, and the passion that you have, syempre gusto mo sa, parang syempre dream ko na rin kung magiging actress ako. Gusto ko na lumabas, makita yung sarili ko sa malaking sinihan. <laughs> diba? Yeah. Parang, you know, and, It yeah. has it came at a time. I mean, although I ang galing ng Viva Max, I you know they're they're a treasure in this industry talaga because they kept jobs going, they kept the industry going. But how did you feel? Na parang I'm sure when you were planning the house, may nung time ba na yon may sinehan pa? And how did you feel that it's going to be streaming? Actually, the housemaid was really meant for theatrical release. It was one of the last movies. Hmm. na ginawa dapat for for the cinemas mm-hmm. and we were waiting for kasi this was given to me two years ago na so medyo mm-hmm. matagal na okay, okay. we shot it last year it went, came out this year pa lang so I was really still pushing for sana hintayin natin yung sinihan okay. sana hintayin natin yung sinihan but I think um, they decided but also because we had the franchise from Korea It needed to be released, mm-hmm. na. And Viva Max was Viva's platform, and they were trying to grow it. Mm-hmm. So when they told me that Viva Max, okay, sige, you know, I really trusted the decision of management. Pero I was lucky enough, naman, na napakita siya sa Dubai. So it, 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 it was released theater. theatrically in Dubai. Mm-hmm. So parang mm-hmm. naiyak nga ako when I saw their post because. You know, it's it's something that I've always dreamt about. Na I felt like I missed out my first, you know, title role. And ko pa siya nakita in, in movies. I actually celebrated it alone with with my friend here at home, while other people were watching it online. Pinipilahan yeah. nila. They were sending me videos, de ba? Nagakamis lang. But tapi ko sana eventually in the future. Yo, I will. Malapit na they're opening up, yeah. diba? Hopefully. Um, kasi nga, you know, I was um thinking lang din to, thinking lang din kanina, sabi ko parang yun nga nabitin ng konte yung feeling ni Kylie na, you know, artista ako in a big screen. Pero you know, when God closes a door, sabi nga he opens a window and sing ka naman globally agad. I mean, not the actresses from before. Hindi yon ang una nilang foray into acting. And in the, you know, with Viva Max's success today, you can always say that you were a part of that history. One of the first movies in Viva Max. Diba? Napaka-successful niya ngayon. And you are part of it. And one of the reasons why it has gone that far. So, ang dami-dami pa rin that you can take from, from, from that. So, I think... Pero siyempre gusto ka pa rin namin makita sa big screen pero you know really it gets you apart, awesome. diba? Dream din yun eh. Dream, mm-hmm. dream <laughs> yeah, oo nga. Anyway, so um you when you in doing the daring roles um you know obviously everybody kasi in the beauty queen scene muna, 'di ba? Parang ang feeling ng mga beauty queens, I always want to be separated from in, in America yung being the the blonde and not very smart beauty queen, de ba? Although dito sa Pilipinas hindi nga masadong ganon, but that's what um, that's why pageantry in other countries um, hindi nila masadong um, gusto like we do, de ba? Um, you went into um, doing sexy roles, naman. Did you fear, naman, that people might focus on your beauty, your sexiness there rather than your acting? Parang, was there ever a time that you worried na gusto ko maging totoong actress pero uh, I went sexy baka naman puro yung you know it's it's the the love scenes that 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 make make it you know make the rounds and be talked about With this movie I really trusted my director and he really knew my hesitations and also my limitations for for the film. Yes, it was sexy and medyo nagulat ako sa trailer because they showed um, it was quite sexy talaga. But when people watch the film, they're really gonna see um, the drama part of the film. And secondary or tertiary na yung mga love scenes, but it's the story 
they're going to pay attention to and the acting and the different characters and the different types of relationships they see in the film. Yeah. So I really trusted talaga my my director, my management and you know, the material on this because it's just really good material for for me yeah. to accept a role like this. I really had to love the material also. So your your leading man here of course is Mark Am I correct? It's Marco, right? Marco yes. Bumabo. And in your press conference for My Husband, My Lover, um, isa sa mga napag-usapan yata was how gentlemanly Marco was that uh, he even reached out, of course, to your boyfriend. Na, sa tingin ko, yung passion, yung galawa for acting, yun yung nakaka, ano eh, nakaka-energize sa inyong galawa, no? Parang you, you really feed off each other. And reached out and asked nga, and at least bumusina daw siya and said, This is a little, you know, we're doing a little bit more. So, talagang mas marami kang um, nagawang bago here in terms of the sex, the sex scenes and the love scenes. And and did you feel uncomfortable at all? Uh, you said nagulat ka sa, um, di ba? Nagulat ka sa uh, trailer niya. Pero ngayon na nagawa mo na siya, you know, looking back, what was the experience like? Mm, was I ever nervous? As Kylie, yes, reading the script. Of course, parang, you know, it made me think a bit kung accept ko ba tong project. But when I was able to talk to my director and got all the checklist I need from the director, mas kumalmado na yung loob ko. And shooting the scenes, you can't really be nervous shooting the scenes because it will show on camera. So I was really in my character's shoes already doing the scene. So, I wasn't nervous at all. But siguro if you put Kylie in there, yes, may nervous siya. But I was already in my character's shoes. So, no way, eh, hindi siya nakaka nervous. Watching it, though, was a different story. Para <laughs> oh my God! Diba? Oh, oh. oh my God, my God, my gosh. Siguradong you're enjoying this interview that we're having with Kylie, but we have to pause for a short break and the Manila Times CSI will be right back. CSI, celebrity style inspiration. A little trivia here, but I'm sure yung talagang true fans of Kylie will know that, you know, you also worked as a preschool teacher before, ba? Diba? So parang when we think of you, beauty queen and actress and preschool teacher, and then now, Diba? Parang you're, you're, you're Kylie Versosa and we see you obviously an actress but still in a very daring role. Parang minsan ba naiisip mo rin na parang how did I get from there to here and what emotions are running inside you? No naman. I think as people we really need to evolve and it's been like oh, five years, six years. So it's a different part of me. It's a different time and I I really look back at my journey and I'm I'm thankful I'm thankful na okay ito na rin na rin ko and this isn't the you know I want to achieve so much more pa I don't think I'm at I'm at my prime yet I really think I can be so much more or do even more so I'm still looking forward to it. But it's all part of my journey. And um, oh, Iko, you know, you've gone from just one movie to another all through the pandemic. The experience mga of, of the big movies is yun, maraming protocols, maraming ganyan. But nonetheless, nag-thrive ka talaga from one to the other. Yung pagod, pag maganito yung high sa career and, you know, sa goals, hindi mo ba siya nararamdaman? I mean, siya, hindi ka ba natakot at certain time na You know, I mean, everybody's been home, pero ako yung set, may pandemic nga pala, de ba? When this was always happening to you. Ako, I'm just really so grateful. Medyo, I'm on the workaholic side. So, I'd rather be working than not doing anything. Kapag wala akong ginagawa, maghahanap ako ng gagawin. Ganun ako na tao eh. Parang I don't like not doing anything. If I'm not working, then let's see, parang... For example, I'm working on my blog or I'm I'm working on my advocacy, doing different things para lang bit busy ako lagi. Yes, I want to take vacations, but I can't take very very long vacations kasi I always look for for work to do. So 
wala eh. Parang, personally ko na, ko na rin na, I just want to keep on, on, on work. work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, yan naman talaga, you know, if we keep, sabi nga nila, whenever you do something, practice makes perfect. So from one project to another, you know, you do become better and better um, at what you do. Um, crown ang hin- you know you hope for a crown when you're um in the beauty pageant that's the goal dito ba importante sa yung trophy importante sa yung ang best actress na title naman since you are a title beauty um pageant winner diba yeah i want to win one yay oh ang ganda <laughs> diba? Just say it and claim it diba why dapat i want to win one i really want to win one dream ko talaga yon and what would it mean to you, Kylie? When... It would mean the world to me. As in, feeling ko mananalo at ulit ako ng corona, but something I want, I want very much at the moment. So, working towards it. And you really become that actress na, na you've all, you know, you're you're working to become. It's a validation of 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 your dream. Meron pa bang ibang dream si Kylie? I mean, and, and you're pretty good at realizing your dreams. So, ano pa ba yung meron dyan? Because I'm sure one day you'll probably surprise us again uh, because of your energy and your passion. Um, aside from yun, the trophy that I want, <laughs> siguro coming from a business background, I've also wanted to have my own business or collaborate with a big brand. I think I see that coming in the very near future. Okay. Um, I also want to work internationally. Ah. Yeah, I really want to work internationally. Represent the Philippines, man, in in another, in a different industry, um, a different industry, industry. in oh, a different oh. industry. So dream ko din yon. Yeah. Do you think being a beauty queen gives you that that edge? Because, de ba parang parang kahit pa paano. You, you know na rin how it is to work abroad or whatever. And sa tingin mo, magkakaroon yun ng, I mean, you know, hopefully will open more doors for you. I mean, when you, I don't know if nowadays you go into auditions, but I ask that because do you talk about, really talk about, oh yeah, I was once Miss, you know, I was Miss International in, in 2016. Do you think with this um, titles in your, to your name now, pag nagpunta ka na sa, nag-audition pa to uh, the global, cin- to global cinema, i-highlight mo pa rin yung pagka-miss international mo? I don't think it would really matter for them kasi mas talent na yung nakita nila aside from the titles that you have you know, so I guess when I do mas ihanda ko na lang yung sarili ko and my talent and you know, my audition and the piece that I'm doing instead of, you know, telling people I was Miss International. <laughs> Ganyan. Baka diba? sabihin pa ng ibang tao, ano yun, di ba? Yeah, di ba? Pero yeah, kami so... kasi, kung kami ikaw, sasabihin mo rin namin na, I'm, I was Miss International. Kasi we can't say it. No, just yes, joke. Baka sasabihin ng ibang tao or taga-abroad, parang ano yun, di ba? Oo, di ba? Kasi pa sa kanila, not, mahawa ka pa ng convo. Eh. Not as big. For long convos kapag yeah. I'm meeting someone. So, yeah. So, baka I would, yung mas naiintindihan pa nila is, you know, I was Miss Amazing. Philippines. Yun yung mas, oh, yung mas, yung mas, yung mas, yung mas. Oo nga, no? That's a good And, point to make. Yeah, oh. kasi I'm Miss USA, ganyan. Minsan di nila gets Miss Universe, Miss International, oh. ganyan. At so, you just fun. say, oh, she was Miss Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mas Thank you, Thank you. We're learning so much. Because obviously, marami rin naman, uh, maraming Pilipina. It's either, you know, maging artista or maging, maging Miss Universe or Miss International. It's, you know, a common um, ambition pag bata ka. So, that's a tip, di ba? Parang mas matunog pala ang country mo kesa yung pag lumabas ka na doon and promote yourself uh, than, than the actual international title. Um, so, when you were so busy in the last couple of years, hindi ka ba tulad namin na nagkaroon din ng downtime and um, did you, you know, yung, you know, like you were forced to, wala, you just needed, had to stay home, nagkaroon ng mga realizations and all that or were you working, you're grateful to be working throughout that time? 
No, I had a lot of downtime. You did? Okay. Yeah, I had a lot of downtime also because, you know, movies now are shot in a shorter period of time as to yung mga 14 days and spread out mga two months. Ngayon na less than a month, tapos na namin yung film. So I had a lot of downtime and I had a lot of time to think. And yeah, I also went through, you know, a lot of mental health problems, a lot of anxiety. Kaya happy ako to work because... Because you know, it keeps my mind off, off of the things that I was experiencing during the pandemic. But I'm so glad that little by little, mas bumabalik na yung you know, uh, nakita ko na things are coming, getting back to normal. People are less afraid to go outdoors. So happy ako na nakita ko na it's slowly getting back to normal. So um, in that time, did you also give a lot of um, attention to downtime, one man? Because you are an advocate of of mental health. Uh, what projects did you do? Na hindi namin alam, because you know, ako nga, I was thinking you were moving from set to set because you have really you had so many titles in Viva Max um, in the last year. Uh, what was Kylie doing in in terms of her advocacy? So alam. we partnered up because I realized, especially you know nung pumasok yung pandemic, so many people were coming to me or saying, Kylie, saan ba ko pwede kami magpa-consult or may pre-consultation ba kayo? So parang sabi ko, how do I help these people? Kasi usually, when it's a friend, I would talk to them, you know, I would schedule a Zoom meeting, tapos ako yung, I'm the one that gives them advice, one by one, parang my own way of helping. But what about the other people na, na, who asked and there were a lot. Man. Oh, oh, hindi pwede yes. mag-zoom sa'yo. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, syempre, we gathered the list of places they can go to for free that do free consultations. But recently, our partner um, was Consulta MD. So, they give free mental health plans. So, you can get one whole free month of consultations via phone or via video and you can be anonymous and all you have to do is download their app and input the code MHMKYLAE that's um oh sorry that's KMDKYLAE and you get a one month free plan and you can talk to a psychiatrist um psychologist 24 hours a day but minsan since dumadami na talaga yung taong tumatawag um, medyo mahaba haba lang yung line, so usually you have to wait 10 to 15 minutes. Uh-uh. So but we partnered but with them. Yes. It still does a world of good, diba? I mean, yung, I mean, nag- mag-wait ka, pero, you know, we need that, diba? And, um, yes, kasi sometimes we need to have, get professional help na talaga. Especially for people who don't have the proper support system to help them. Ninsan kailangan na talaga natin mag-consult sa doktor. So there's no shame in seeking therapy um, and getting professional help for your mental health problems. Thank you. I mean, you're you're on this um, fast track road to you know becoming a star. I mean, you are a star, but becoming a bigger star and a, an actress that uh, legitimate actress that everybody can look up to, de ba? Um, pero hindi mo talaga iniiwan what yung advocacy mo kasi minsan di ba sa sabi mga advocacy yun yung medyo beauty pageant um, na, na ginagawa pero it seems you've really taken it to heart what does it mean how important is it that you have that in your life? It's so important kasi it's something so personal to me it's something na pinagdaanan ko it, it's my story before and it's something na pinapagdaanan ko pa siya ngayon and Minsan may mga down moments talaga ako na parang naisip ko, totoo ba ako mental health advocate kasi ako, I'm going through things myself. But I learned na mental health is, it's a process. It's just like finding yourself. It's, um you know, we can be a work of art. We can be a work in progress, but also a work of art at the same time. So, ayun, you know, we're, we're still a work in progress. And even me, I'm still, you know, trying to find the proper self-help that works for me because we evolve as people. We still evolve and we constantly evolve as people. So we just need to find the right things that work for us. You know, the, the, the roles now that you've had, you said you like them because they, um, you know, parang yung character, maraming layers. It's 
something that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, for years. Pero hindi ba parang because you say it's your story also mental health. Once you finish on the set when or you come from lock in, na ba bother ka ba sa role or madali mo siyang maiwan sa ano? Sa set? Na actually nakukuha ko yung Yeah, <laughs> yung nakita ko a part of my character na dadala ko talaga siya. Na there's ano eh may term may term sa amin na kailangan mong magpagpag dahil mm-hmm. dala-dala mo pa yung character mo especially if it's a heavy character so ako bago ako umuwi alam ko na medyo dala-dala ko pa siya my emotions sometimes i feel bad for no reason sometimes medyo down pa ako so kailangan mo talaga magpagpag and i'm grateful naman to have a partner who understands what i'm going through so Minsan, dalawa kami nagpapagbago, sige, hindi na tayo magkikita. Kasi we understand what so we're what going. So, what do you do pagpagpag? Kasi diba, we do pagpag, you know, we know pagpag as going before, you know, if you go to a wake, then pupunta ka sa Starbucks. Yun lang ang pagpag namin. Pero sa artista, bago ka umuwi. Sa artista, I'm sure you have different ways of pagpag. Ikaw, what works for you? Pagpag for me means you have to get back to yourself and bitawan mo yung character. Kasi sometimes we either overanalyze the character and or we're in our character's head, emotions, so much na na-invibe talaga namin yung character. So, to get back to myself, I just do the things I love. You know, I, I go through my regular routine kasi kapag sa set, ibang routine. So, I go through my regular routine. I wear the clothes I want. You know, as simple as that, you go wear the clothes na ikaw talaga, si Kylie talaga. Listen to the music I want. You know, I spend time with myself. I, you know, I, I do the things na I, that I will, normally do to get back true. to myself. Kind yeah, the things I enjoy oh. lang para pa konte konte. Usually, it takes me not long naman, but siguro, Two, three days, two, three yeah. days na I'm by myself na pinapagpag ko lang yung character. Ako, I like going to a different... So, who is Kylie pala? You know, like, who is the Kylie that you return to? If you don't mind describing it for us, maybe just to wrap up um, how yung evolution mo as an actress and then going back to, to Kylie. Na hindi beauty queen, hindi artista. Honestly, right now, she's like a mix of different things. <laughs> Because you're an artist. That's why. Because you're an artist. 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 Because you're an hindi ko talaga nakita sarili ko ganyan. But syempre, I want to put the best version of myself out there. Um, I'm the type who gives 100% talaga at everything I do from yeah, yeah. from replying to, to you know, any small work to meeting someone. I, I want to give my 100% talaga. And what else? She's just very simple. She likes, yeah. you know, normal things. Oh. I you know being um you know you said that it, it helps so much then in in this journey of yours to be with a fellow artist no your artists kasi talagang kayo ni Jake you really get into the roles that you have you know having interviewed him before pag ganun yung pelikula parang ganun yung yung dating niya no when when people talk to him um but you know have you guys ever talked cuz you're both so passionate about the industry have you ever talked about going behind the scenes or nag-isip kayo, meron kaya kaming dalawa pwede gawin? Maybe write a movie, work on a movie? I mean, yes, Jake eventually wants to become a director. So, I really support him with his dream. Ako naman, parang mas focus ko pa kasi yung acting at the moment because he's been in showbiz for so long. Medyo na perfect niya na yung craft niya. Ako, pinar-perfect ko pa lang. So... I really want to do a movie with him. So Viva knows that then na gusto kong gumawa ng movie with him. But sinasabi niya naman, don't worry, establish yourself first. He's always going to be there. And yun naman din. We're just both supportive. 
with each other in our own respective careers. But, you know, Kylie, we, we have to say we're very happy for your career. They ba sabi nga nila, check! Love life, check! <laughs> <laughs> Everything, you know, I mean, you're, you're really, really, um, you know, you say you're not at your prime as an actress, but I think um, this is your time. Um, you are, you oh, look, you're you glowing, so um, you know, you, you, you walk the talk. No, sabi mo gusto mong maging artista. Ginawa mo and artista ang artista ka na. So, um, if you could invite um, our viewers to your latest um, movie kung saan pinapakita mo ang um, Kylie versus the artist, please go ahead. <laughs> so guys, hello to everyone watching. And I really want to invite you guys to watch My Husband, My Lover. It's a different story. Um, it's it's a different kind of love affair movie, but but when you watch it, promise, masya shock talaga kayo sa story. It tackles all different kinds of relationship, and the twist is something that you wouldn't even think about. So it's exciting. It's um, starring me, Marco Gumabao, Cindy Miranda, and Adrian Alandi. And you can watch it this coming November 26, na guys, only on Viva Max. So Viva Max is available worldwide. Yes. Um, recently, it was just um, US and Canada, yeah, right? It's launched in the US, Canada. It's available in Dubai. So mga kababayan natin abroad, mapapanood niyo pa yon exclusively on Viva Max. And you know, we just have to say pang international ka talaga. Pati, wow, thank you. <laughs> wish and ko guys, talaga kay tayo ko international abroad. Yes, yes, you will. And um, you know, given you so determination, you will. And we will parang beauty pageant lang will be there to root for you talaga. Oh, you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Keep thriving. Keep loving. Thank you so much, Miss Tessa. Enjoy bye. this interview. Bye, Kylie. Me too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so yeah. much. Bye-bye. And that's it for this episode of the Manila Times CSI Season 4. Once again, thank you very much, Kylie Versosa, for joining us tonight. And salamat to our proudly Filipino streaming platform, Viva Max, for making this T-Zone interview possible. Shout out to Viva's for Lynn and Moises for all your help. Don't forget to stream Kylie's newest film, My Husband, My Lover, which dropped on November 26th. Shempre, cheers to my hardworking team, Christina, Isa, Mika, and of course, our director and video editor, Neil, for getting our humble show out there. All that we do is for you, our beloved CSIers. If you haven't yet, do subscribe to the Manila Times YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at TMTCSI. Also, don't forget to end the week tomorrow with Fangirl to cap your three-day dose of our show. See you next Thursday, CSIers. Thanks for watching and bye! Hi, CSIers! Please do subscribe to the Manila Times YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at TMT CSI. And by the way, we're also on Spotify with exclusive TMT CSI studio content that's up and ready for you to enjoy. Bye!